will do the Q&A and I'll answer all your questions to the best of my abilities. And we will start that right now. All right. What happened? <laughs> well, that's good. Texas says, Rod, I just want to say thanks for the Voyager recommendation. Made a silly amount of money in the Voyager run-up. I heard you loud and clear to say, pull stuff off exchange. Probably should have done a little bit earlier, but I didn't. But uh, hey, we do. When the facts change, I change. And that's just how it goes. Exactly, Beardy. I accept the things I cannot change. Uh, Rome was not built in a day. Uh, these are all great things. Let's see. Thoughts on thoughts. I don't even know what that is. I'm powerless over EOS. Exactly. That's why I don't. I hold very little EOS anymore. But in 2017, that was the hot one. Tesla went to EOS in 1983. Holy smokes! That's when I think Johnny Mac was still playing. <laughs> Gary says, I have 14 steps in today. I walked to the refrigerator. I went to the couch. I went back to the refrigerator. 14 steps. Marty says, did Charles really say he wish he hadn't used Haskell like James yesterday? I don't know if that's true, what James said. I was going to question him. I was like, oh, I don't want to get in this can of worms. I know he said that uh, there were some do-overs he'd like to have, but of course, who wouldn't want to do some do-overs? I'm not, not for sure if he said Haskell per se. Take a look at all of Charles's last three live streams. I'm sure it's in there somewhere. I heard him say something like that. I just don't remember what exactly what he said. But regardless, I mean, it is what it is. If he did say it, didn't say it, we're still going forward. <sighs> I got to tell you, I mean, Charles is one of those guys that uh, at least he shows up. When stuff goes sideways, at least he's there on the, on the channel going, you know what, this, yeah, this didn't work out and we're going to have to keep pushing a little bit forward and now there were some bugs and, you know, this was the problem. This is the things I don't like. I can respect that. I mean, how many people who have wormhole hacks and things like that show up on a live stream? Some, I'm sure, but few and far between. Ada at 22 cents next. Maybe so. Maybe. Man, imagine 22 cents for Ada. Here's a, here's, a, here's a thought. Let's say it goes to 22 cents. Does anybody not think that Cardano can't hit its previous all-time high of around $3 in the next bull run? Wouldn't that be a pretty good deal? So think about it this way. So 22 cents, what is that, 5X to a dollar, roughly, roughly, uh, 10X to two, and 15X, I don't know. You got a pretty good amount. Now let's take let's take the flip side of Bitcoin. And this is one of the videos I'm gonna talk about. With Bitcoin for it to double, I mean, that's a lot. So you're going from roughly $19,000 today to 20,000 or to 40,000 and to 60,000, and you'll have over a trillion dollar market cap just for Bitcoin alone. That's not easy. So I think it's easier for ADA to hit its all-time high than Bitcoin to hit its all-time high. I mean, not easy. I would just say, uh, of course, much more gains there. And that's just what it is. <laughs> he says, I'm, I'm holding on to my ADA with lobster claws. Hold on to it. But remember, at some point, I'm going to do this. I'm letting everybody know. Here's a secret. I'm going to sell some of my crypto. Yeah, I know. Not going to diamond hands forever. Not going to hold on to it forever. At some point, I'm going to sell it. Not all of it, but. Just saying. That's why all data bags. Chuck is great, just boring. Ah, he's. I mean, look. If you, he's about as boring as as I am, and you guys are here for that. I mean, I'm not jumping around and doing all the crazy things. And uh, this is a good question. So Larry says, <laughs> I hope David's on the chat. Hey, Rob, I step about 400,000 steps a month and now I've accumulated my first 1,000 coins. Of course, Larry is talking about on Sweatcoin. What will happen in September 12th for those in the U.S.? Will our coins convert? Nope, it will not. Sorry. I'm in the same boat. I'm in the same boat. So we did a deep dive into Sweatcoin and I actually had Oleg and Ophir. They are, uh, Olaf is one of the co-founders of Sweatcoin and Afir is one of the uh, marketing heads. And we had a big discussion about that in the deep dive, 
deep dive, deep dive video. You can find it, link in the description, deep dive video right here. And they, they talk exactly what's going to happen with U.S. customers. You're not going to get it now because here's the problem. Here's the problem with America. Besides the fact that it's awesome. I, I love America, sorry. I'm kind of a homer, a biased. The problem with America is the people, some people in charge, they just don't want to, don't want to move forward. I don't want to let innovation take hold. That's a big problem, Gary Gensler. And, um, you know, they want to protect somebody. I Maybe it's us. Maybe it's their, their shadow masters. I don't know. Just kidding. Or for whatever reason. And uh, Sweatcoin's like, look, we don't want to get, we don't want to deal with the, with the, the legal ramifications. So we're just going to sit on the sidelines for a bit. And uh, if you're an American and uh, you've walked all these steps, at some point you'll probably get the sweat token. This might take a little bit of time. And that's it. Yeah. Mad Cow says, who does, taking profits, who does that? Thanks, Peter. You're less hosting. Ronky says, he's definitely not for him. There's different strokes, different folks, right? Mm. My sweat coins continually hang up. Yeah, there's a problem with the new upgrade. They just uh, did a release for the new upgrade. It slows things down. I don't know why. Yeah, Willick says, I knew it. That's why I stopped with the sweat coin. So here's a question I got to ask everybody. So like, you know, the app is free, right? And then the sweat tokens that you get are free. And even if you don't, even if you can't convert them into the cryptocurrency, you can still use them on the platform and buy all the little, little, whatever that they have on there. Like I know they have like earbuds and they have like shoes and they have stuff like that. So like if it's free and it's working in the background, why you stop it? I don't understand that. Like they're like, I talk about actually two apps uh, for move to earn. One is uh, Sweatcoin. There's one called S Miles or Smiles. And you can earn Satoshis just for walking and it's free. So I'm like, why wouldn't I? And guess what? I use them both. So that's just me. But yeah, well, what do you want to do? Fiat is doomed. Well, if we take a look at a history, yeah. Just might take a little bit of time. All right, eh? And I think that's it. Pat Freeman says, how many moderators does the channel need? It's not what we need. It's what we have. And I want to say thanks to all the moderators for stopping by. And why have you, I was giving out wrenches like crazy the last couple of weeks. And that's about it. So look, uh, coming up to about 30 minutes or so. It's the weekend. Let's get out of here. Let's enjoy it. And uh, that's it for today. So look, if you like today's video, thumbs up. Apparently the like thumbs up seems to, do something with the algorithm to push it all out there. And also, if you could comment, even if it's commenting just to say, Rob, you pronounced this wrong, just comment something. Not in the live chat, but the, in the uh, comment section. That's it for today. So everybody, thanks so much for stopping by. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next live stream, which will be next Saturday. All right.